Hey guys, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru. So in this section of the class, we are going to take a look at setting up Spring JPA. So we're going to look at pure JPA operations. There's also a whole uh, another Spring project called Spring Data JPA. Uh, we, we aren't going to look at that just yet. Spring Data JPA is a really cool, cool thing. But I want to get into using pure J, JPA so you can see all the stuff that's really abstracted by Spring Data JPA. So we're going to be working with uh, entities, which are a technology for object relational mapping. So we're going to be mapping entities to tables. So object relational or object entities to relational database tables. And then we'll be using Hibernate to do all the persistence mapping. So Hibernate is going to hit, is our JPA implementation that we're, we're going to be working with. And we're going to implement an H2 database. This is an in-memory database. And I'm going to show you how to set that up. So at runtime, when you start up the container, what's going to happen is Hibernate is going to go out and automatically generate the database. So it's going to create the DDL. DDL stands for uh, Data Definition Language. So it'll generate the necessary DDL SQL statements to create the tables. And I'll even show you a trick where we can load data in there. So we'll, we'll have some pre-populated test data into our database. And then we will implement our CRUD operation. So if you remember when we looked at Spring MVC, we created a, a mapping persistence story, our little persistence story, but we're just adding objects to and from a map. So we're going to take those same objects that we're going to work with, we were working with there, we will annotate those to make them JPA entity classes. And then we're going to set up, uh, we're going to create a Spring service that will persist those objects to the database. So it, it will do full CRUD operations through that service. So rather than using a hash map, we're going to use an actual database. And what's important, I want you to remember here as we go through this, we are using a real database. It's an H2 database. And we can swap over that data source and we could use a different style of an H2 database we're going to be running in memory, but we could use a one on a file system. So it's actually persisted to disk or in a future module, I'm going to show you how to actually switch that over and use MySQL. So we'll be using H2 in one instance, and then through a spring configuration switch, we will switch over and use MySQL. So that there's a couple of different things here that, I mean, that's all future stuff, but in this module or, or this section of the course, I want you to focus on what entities are and how we're using the persistence store. So it, it will configure an in-memory database. But right now, the, the focus of this section of the course is on JPA. And I want you to see how we're going to take that previous mapping where we're mapping to hash maps and we're going to use Spring's dependency injection to provide an implementation of the JPA service instead of the one that we did with the hash mapping and previous modules. So we're going to step through all this stuff. And by the end of this, this section of the course, we will have a fully functional web application that's doing CRUD operations. That's create, read, update, and delete against an actual database rather than a map. And we'll be able to flip a switch where we can still use the map, but we can also use the database too. So a lot going to happen in this module. So I'm kind of excited to show you guys this stuff. Enjoy the module, and if you run into any problems, don't hesitate to reach out to me and ask any questions. Thanks.